Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here for the 9 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. And we're looking at the Dow futures just about unchanged, closed at an all-time high yesterday in the Dow. 36,934 was the all-time high, closed just under it. You can see this chart on the left, the daily chart, right up against resistance. Let's see if the Dow is able to close above that. If the Dow uh, today after 2 o'clock is not minus 40, with the market generally weaker, but in fact plus 40, that's going to be really extraordinary action and suggest that there is rotational internal strength. Uh, it's very selective, but it's there and keep that in mind. And you're looking at the S&P futures, the S&P uh, made an all time high yesterday, very interestingly, made an all time high, a very quick peak D, peak E and leg F. And that was an all time high. But the futures are down about two points right now, nothing much. We'll see if the futures, in fact, are uh, not down five or six points after two o'clock, but in fact up even just three points. That'll be that'll say, hey, there's internal strength. So we're going to watch this very closely. The QQQs have been weak, and I suspect they're going to remain weak. Uh, but I, we'll have to watch it because there's a resistance in the daily chart. See that chapter wave inside track repellent zone. If the Qs at 400, uh, 395 right now, are able to even get into 402 area, that'll be good. But breaking below 390. Uh, Oh, man, 392, 390 support would be very negative. That's the index 100. That would go for the semiconductors as well. We're looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000, starting to show some um, independent strength. Can that strength hold at 224 if it's able to get to the 226, 80, 227 area by Thursday or Friday? That's going to be good action and say, hey, small caps could have a January rally. We've been watching this very closely. This is the big thing, the TLT. The TLT, which is bonds, uh, TLT is up 35 cents after a really sharp three-day pullback. Now we're going to see what happens because the, uh, the rates have been in a range. But that range will change because if the uh, TLT bonds go below 142, wow, that'll really push yields up quite a bit, and that's gonna that that might be a market impact, uh, might have a, have some kind of impact on the market. Looking at crude oil, it's holding very well here. I think crude oil is in. in Oh, sorry, I did crude oil, Colgate Palmolive, which is at an all-time high. No, crude oil is doing well. I will have a great day. Stay tuned for Tommy Jr. This is the market kickoff coming up right now, 9 o'clock. Then you get Larry Pesarento, then a recording of my show, and then Steve Rose, Dave White, and Tom O'Brien. Have a great day.